a piece for your living room or anything like that it's actually going to be a um, shield a Viking shield and I've been asked to make this for a wedding so I'm making um, some shields for a wedding for a centerpiece as well as they will be able to use it for their living room wall so this is what I have two uh, core these foam core boards taped together I'm going to grab or anything. Um, just like that to make a perfect circle for the shield so I, I have to put two of these boards side by side together and I'm just going to hold Hold. My computer's in the way now. Move more over. I'm just taking my time here. So that's how I'm making my circles. I just find the middle, tack it in, and then find my circle like that. Now that I have the um, piece, my circle um, drawn, I have to cut it out with a craft knife. So that's the next step to the project. So I have to use a, uh, I just had my craft knife, a cutting board behind like one of these, um, behind it just to make sure I don't cut, cut my table or, you know, that kind of thing. So I'm gonna stick that behind it and I'm gonna have to move it along with the, uh, the mat here to cut. So I put the camera up higher. I'm hoping you guys will be able to see this. And I'm going to have to put my, um, my everything's kind of like in the way. So I'm going to try to move it in a different position here so you can catch me starting this one off here. So, just now I'm going to cut along here to get my shield in. And just double checking which one it was. I had two circles, one a little bit bigger, one a little bit smaller. It's the one in the side that I decided to go with. So I'm just gonna go carefully cut it. Um, and I'm just gonna cut it a couple times because it might not go right through. If I don't, if I tear it, it'll, it'll just tear and make a mess. It'd be easier if I just go over a couple of times and it's easy to cut this foam board. So very easy. So this is my board. Now this is the one first one I worked on. I'm going to glue it. Oh it's blurry. I'm going to glue it. Sorry guys, I know it's a really blurry right now. And I am going to use my glue stick to glue it on like this. I'm just gonna use my glue stick because I don't think I need to have anything really heavy to glue it on because it is gonna get paper mache. So it should be good for that. And if I start moistening it up with wet glue now, it'll just get more wet. <laughs> So I'm going to stick the glue stick on here.
I'm kind of going to keep to the one half right now. And I'm just using the regular Elmer's glue stick. making sure I really got it on. And then I'm going to grab this half here. See how I got taped on one side so it kind of works as a hinge. I'm going to stick that half here on. So kind of like when you're doing a journal page and you got like one side of your journal page glued on. So I'm just going to try to match it up a bit. It's really sealing good. It's really doing a good job. And now I'm just going to do the other half. It's really sealing really good. So perfect. It's not like if you had something too wet, it might slide. And like I said, not to mention, warp my boards a bit more. So I'm pretty happy the way it's working so far. And there goes my bird going crazy. Okay, I've made um, a circle using my palette. And then I made a smaller circle using cardstock, folding in half and cutting a circle. So then I know I need to find a bowl that is um, large enough to kind of reach around here. And this is my lip to where I'm going to glue my bowl on. So I have a place for the hands, space for the hands. Now I'm going to paper mache that um, as well. So I've just got to find the right size um, bowl to paper mache the outside or balloon or whatever so I just need like a half bowl, like a bowl shape really to glue on so this is going to get cut out now to glue on so I'm just going to write You can, I just, I put it together, I, I know I did it after, um, and then usually, like, if you were to make a wood sh shield, they would do the same thing, and then they'd drill a hole through it, and then, um, then use the saw to cut it out. So I'm just going to, um, carefully make a pie shape, and then... Kind of notch it out like that so then I don't have to worry too much about what I'm doing and cutting it. And I'm kind of off here, but I'm still on my mat, my cutting mat, and I have two boards now, if you remember. So it's two boards thick. I'm not trying to push through both, I'm just trying to. Uh, Cut. But I kind of figured it'd be easier to pop out a little pie shape than having to worry about going around a big circle. It would just be easier because play stop, keep going. And then I could kind of just dig out my pie shapes after here. And I don't want to get the lip that I'm leaving. I just want to leave that for adding glue to and gluing my bowl, the center bowl, so then it will um, it will um, pop right out. 
I mean, then you, you put your hand in there and have room for your fist, your hand. So that's why they have that. So just take your time. Like I said, that's why I found it easier um, thinking in my mind to go piece by piece, making the pie shape come up. And again, I'm just going to go over what I've done. Not worrying about it at all. I'm just piece by piece cutting it through to make my lovely Viking shield. So now I'm just going to cut my edges. I don't want to have to um, break anything, um, have a big piece of foam missing or anything like that. So I'm going to take my time and cut all the edges out because there's no hurry. Um, this is not, I don't want to start all over. So I'm going to take my time and enjoy it and um, make sure it's not going to break or anything. So. And the, the um, edge is easy to kind of shave off any pieces, anything that we need to do. Just take your time. And it doesn't have to be exactly perfect. Just till you're comfortable with it. And that is the beginning of my Viking shield. Both sides. So now what I have to do is just glue this down. I'm not going to do that yet. I'm just thinking about it and I have to do the material first. So we have to glue this material on first before we glue this um, handle because the handle will go over the edge of the material and I think that'll be nice. So what I have here is just from Walmart. I picked it up. It is muslin unbleached. Really nice. So let's hope that um, once I'm done this whole project here, it'll be perfect. So I want to have this very tight over the edges here and then wrapped around. Um, I'm going to have to be careful with clips because the clips will push into the styrofoam. So I'm going to have to figure that one out. So, um, yeah, that's going to be kind of like, have to go figure that one out on the fly kind of a thing. But I'm going to have to have it um, on here pretty snug. And it's got to go over right over the center. And then the, the piece that I put on top has got to go right over it. So, um, and then after I will cut it out and then um, put it around the inside. So then that will work, but I don't cut it out right away. So what I'm gonna do, I try to get the size of my muslin I need. And I think I'm just going to mark it and then um, make sure I cut larger than what I mark because it's got to wrap around. And then I also got to make some kind of um, piece to go around the edge, like they would have like the rawhide or something like that, a leather type of piece or something. So I got to come up with that as well, what to use for that. Now I'm going to pull it up and I need to have it around here quite a bit. This needs to be a little bit more. Like I got to make sure that I do this well where it's going to wrap around and I, and I could 
yeah you know have leeway with it so I'm going to grab a pencil just going to use my and then just go around it now this is just to kind of be able to eye it up when I'm cutting and uh, kind of have where I know where I'm going to be painting too so now I'll just have to do that like I said once it dries Here we go. So I'm going to need to grab what I need to grab, like my scissors for material, to cut that up, and that's what I'm doing now. So I'm just going to cut this handle, so that my handle, fit. and I'm just getting inside of the circle of my shield right now. I'll just protect it, and yeah, I think it'll be a good idea to do that. And it's a product there for a reason, so I'm thinking that's a good idea to. It's so you'd be able to paint on on um, styrofoam this product, because um, it is hard to paint on styrofoam. But I think it also like kind of just gives it a stronger and protects it. You know, like well, I read it to you. It's surface coating, right? So it says here that it's smooth. It, to transform styrofoam into a smooth, um, hard, paintable surface. And like I said, it'll just kind of also seal it up a little bit better for me. And I like that. So now I'm just doing my outer edge here. So I'm just do, do, you know, doing a little extra, but that's good. That's what you want. You want it to be really nice turn out really nice so and that's what I'm going to do all the way around I'm going to do it with all three of them too I've got two more swords now that, that I feel that the shields edges are all um, kind of sealed where they're they're not porous anymore and there you can paint on them although what I need really need is my glue to stick on them so that's why I did it so my glue will stick on it so then I want my my cloth to really be able to adhere to this so what I did to get some of the wrinkles out is I washed I just put it in wet in water and then I just did the best I can like this the wrinkles that were across we're too crazy the squares pattern of it like being so strong but this I can deal with so this is good so now I just gotta kind of figure out how I'm gonna glue this on now what I'm thinking about doing is putting some glue down and just taking card and kind of scraping it I think I'm gonna put some um, craft paper down like poster board and then the glue can kind of ooze out on there and then I'm just going to use I'm glue. going to use this decoupage um, Americana fabric glue sealer and finish that's what I'm going to use and I'm going to use have some cards on hand here. I grabbed a few, and then in case I don't want to, if it gets too sticky, I could just dump the card and grab another. And I'm gonna need my some paper towel. I'm actually gonna use shop towel, and I'm going to use. Oh, here it is. My gluing um, paint brushes that I have just for gluing. 
So everything's kind of ready. Here we go. I'm gonna get my moisture off there because I just keep that in water so that it doesn't um, seal. I don't know if this glue is kind of a funny texture. Now I don't know why that is, but could be been sitting around too long. Going to use it anyway. Mixing it up. This really sounds gross. It's a kind of really funny texture, kind of curdled look. I think it's just been sitting around too long, so it's a good time to use it up. Sometimes you just keep things in the shelf too long. So I'm going to do half at a time. And actually, you know what? Being a little bit more stiff, the glue, it might be a good thing because it's not going to curl my... shield as much, I think. So I'm just making sure I got it everywhere. Good coat. I will be able to um, paint on this, so that'll be good. Okay, I believe I got my first coat. See, yeah, it turned out really nice because it's um, not as gooey and liquidy as, and I was really worried about that actually. Okay, I'm gonna take my card and I'm just going to flatten it out. Now I'm gonna show you guys a little closer. pretty good and then worked on half half of it at a time pulling it snug here Looking pretty good. It's working really good. I just gotta remember to keep it really snug. I have my line through, so it's got I got my guide of I'm a little bit off my Circle. I think that's okay. And now it's coming along really good now. I think I'm a little off my guide on my circle, but it's not too bad. <clears throat> And then I just gotta do the other half. Coming along good. I'm really liking the way the glue worked. When I saw um, on YouTube that they were making a, a Viking uh, shield, one of the ones that they're covering it with cloth, it was a mess. It was they even had gloves on. And they were just rubbing the glue through, and it was just just bleeding through. It was a mess. So. And I think they're just used like wood glue or PVA glue. I don't know what they use. 
but um, I'm really happy with this Deco Art product. It's really working great. So I'm really, really happy with it. <clears throat> so mine is not the experience that I was really worried about that they had. When I was seeing that, I was like, oh boy, how am I going to make this look really pretty, like really nice? So I was really worried. But now I'm feeling really confident that this is going to work out really great. The glue didn't even like go through at all. So I'm very pleased with that. So now I'm just going to kind of keep continue what I was doing, pulling it tight. My alarm's going off on my phone. I'm very happy with this result so far. So I'm just pulling up anything I don't really like and pushing it back down with the card. So this is it. This is way better than what I anticipated for this part. I really was really worried that also that I would, the glue would really warp warp it so this came out really well. I might have to re add some glue I don't know. So I'm just kind of popping it up, pushing a lot of pressure back down and it's sticking so I might have to add a few more dabs of glue in some spots here because I really tugged on this. You guys cannot see what I'm doing. I had uh, quite a good wrinkle in there. And since I've been doing really well with that, I kind of like, really like to avoid it if I can. This is how it's looking, guys. I'm so super pleased. So I'm just going to go around my edges a bit. I really want to get this really good <clears throat> on my edges here. I don't need to take a seat for a minute, guys. <laughs> so yeah, I really want to get these edges really good here. Super, super fun so far. No worries at all. I'm very pleased. So I'm not pulling back too much. And I'm just getting the decoupage collage stuff on here and on the fabric. So It looks great. I 
and there it is it's glued now I just got to figure out if I glue my edges how am I going to you can see a little bit of a pencil line belt paint over that how am I going to um, clamp it down because <clears throat> I don't want to press into my board too much I flip this over I'm going to cut some slits in here and now I'm just going to glue them all down just like that each um, section I cut I'm going to do that that way it goes around it's going to be nice and snug I think it will work also have to put some kind of band around it too so I'll cover some of that I may just even add another layer over that it doesn't matter I'm not too worried about the back at the moment I want to be aesthetically pleasing yes I want us to be sealed and um, the cloth to look great around here so that's the most important thing so now I'm just doing what I'm doing that just gluing it down this this is great it's working very stress free here so I'm very happy with the outcome so far I'm gonna pull you guys up you can see I'm up over the edge a bit here so I'm just turning my shield as I need it and it's perfect I love the way this um, decoupage is working on here I'm very very pleased <clears throat> I'm actually subscribed to the the people who um, I have to find the link I'll find you the link to who I was watching and I will post it but I'm gonna have to I message them and tell them this is the glue I used. <laughs> they might they had it on plywood, but this is the glue I used and it works great. So yeah, give them a, a tip. <laughs> if that's the way you want to go, maybe. So I'm very happy with it. It's actually becoming it's, it's way easier than I I couldn't even dream of it being so easy. I was actually getting a little um worried about this project not because well just trying to figure out the best way to do it and the one of the things I was a little bit worried about was getting the canvas on and painting and all that kind of stuff it was like hmm what to do not really worried but just like I wonder what the best way to do it because it looks so hard when I watched a couple two people took to cover theirs
thinking about this. I'm actually going to have to remove it before it gets too dry. It's working really good. But I realized that maybe it would be harder to glue the center around if I don't get that done right away. I was just going to paint over it right and then worry about the center later. But now looking at it, I'm a little worried that um, I won't be able to get it around properly sealed in there. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to quickly, as fast as possible before my glue dries, do my center as well. And not <laughs> so same as the outer edge. Do my inner edge. So I'm going to take my fabric glue again. And really get it on there. handle back on. Just like that. That way I don't have to mess around with it and it'll be all perfect. Just like that. That one is done. Refasten this before it gets too um, dry and it's perfectly. Now I don't have to worry about it. And that's what they would have done with the original Viking um, shield. Anyhow, is done the same thing around what they did. We did over here.
so far with the boss. I had to heat it up with the stove. It wasn't heating up well enough with the, um, and I had to trim it down. It's too deep, my bowl. Anyway, so it looks not too bad. We'll see if I can fix it up and come. I'm still not done this painting. See if I can fix it up and get it in there. It's not too bad, actually. So, so the first one I've done now, I don't know if I want to get it to go in the center or not. That's kind of, I'm sorry guys, it's kind of a, I don't know. I wanted to have a ledge. Yeah, I'm going to have to have it over or else cut it down a bit more. So this is the beginning, the first one, so I, it's, it's experiment. Um, I think I could cut it down more. It doesn't have to be so big. If I can get it in there and then just kind of glue my edge in with, uh, I had something in my mind. Yes, they what I was going to use. Seam binding. Dye some seam binding. I'm thinking, I don't know. That's an, 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 in my head anyways. It's not quite... That's the problem with trimming it after. It doesn't look quite right. Now, I didn't hold it in my bowl for like a whole lot of time. So... Probably reshape that too a little bit. Cut a little bit off of this edge. It's where it really heated up. And kind of crinkled. But like I said, it's my first one, so I could probably work with something like that. I just gotta. I could probably work with something like that. It doesn't have to be overly big. So I just gotta work on that shape, I think. This bowl shape here for the rest of them, and then I think that'll be good. If I stick it in, and then my seam binding all the way around to match it in, I think that'll work. I didn't want to put any, um, I want to put seam binding, I thought that would fasten better. See, this is just a little big over here. It's getting a little wonky. It really doesn't have to be as big as I thought, so that's good. Now it's just got to get reheated up, re soften up right here. And then sit flush. Glue it in. But it's got to be flush before I can even put it in there. Because now it's starting to get all kind of funky shape. Once I get this out, it might not be the, quite the right shape. For the boss, this one might be just on a little. Hey friends, um, I'm finished, almost finished actually this board. I just need to do the trim here, and I gotta find something to do it so it's not like a product I have here. Um, I was thinking of doing it with uh, seam binding, but I might actually go look for some kind of thicker, a roll of thicker um, binded ribbon type thing. That's just you can see the. The, uh, <clears throat> the weaving in it, something really thick, just to make it look nice. I don't know, just give it a special look. And um, in a dark brown. And yeah, otherwise I'm done. I didn't catch the, the leaves painting on here, and I did partial of the tree, um, but I didn't turn it on. I was listening to music, and that was happening there. But I had um, kind of made almost like a sharp-shaped heart. Oh, I should just put the camera down a bit. 
Sharp. Heart. Can't speak today. Wow. Heart-shaped almost leaves. Some of them are less. Some of them are not a, you know. And then some of them are more almost tear upside down tear drop almost. I wanted the kind of the same shape. I did an, uh, a very dark um, black forest green on the original shape. And then on half of it, on the left, excuse me, on the right side, I did an avocado color. And then on the left, I did a gold, all on the same size of the leaves. I'll cross the whole leaf. Um, I did a um, metallic multi-surface gold. So that's how I accomplished this. I did that highlighting with this as well for this. I'm um, sorry, I'm moving around. The highlighting is in gold, and also the low lighting is a very dark coffee bean, I believe. And I must have moved it, but it was coffee bean in the acrylic um, Americana. And then, of course, the boss I had to do outside because the spray paint I used. So I used some Plasti Dip because these were two pieces. So I had to spray it on there really thick, but you could still see the seam at one point really badly. So what I had to do, just getting sidetracked here on a pop-up. and I had to, my computer's away. What I had to do was I actually had, oh, I wanted the, the Plasti Deep that you could stick in your paintbrush. That would work perfect. Um, but that's not the kind I had purchased because that's not what they had over there. So you can see this is kind of at an angle. I'm guessing because all the lights on one side, but it's really shady now. Um, so the so I had to spray it into this little glass bowl, a pile of it, and then kind of just push, put it on like that with my finger. And that's how I accomplished that because I was trying to spray it and a few splashes here and there, and I was like getting frustrated. And I did it a few times that way, and it was just not working. Then. Um, I did that after it dried up because it just kept bubbling and stuff because there's a little bit of space there. But you want to cover it up with the Plasti Dip. So then I, these were already sprayed with the um, hammered paint that I got from Canadian Tire. So the bottom layer was hammered paint already. But to help blend it all in after, and then of course the uh, rubber, um, the not rubber cement, the plastic deep kind of moved the paint a bit too. So um, it was starting to kind of show pink, which is really weird because this was a blue color, but who knows, maybe it was reacting with the glue or something I had. Um, so then I put um, elegant finish metallic paint on it, and it looked great. And then uh, after it totally dried, I put plastic sheet from, um, I cut it and fit it to shape on um, two sides, um, uh, binder dividers, stick them in there. And then I s carefully spray painted this again with the hammered, to get the hammered look, to get the uh, that look that it gives you. Because that's not it, that, that look, it, the din little mini dints whatever that look is from this spray. So I did it in there to make it look back to the hammered. But it was a really good idea to spray ahead of time anyway, um, because when you do this all again and you have to spray it again for the last coat, at least you're not having to worry about getting all of it to the edge or whatever because everything's done. So that's really cool. I, last thing I did was when I coat the um, muslin here with this and I love it and I am really disappointed I don't have enough for two more shields but I'm thinking I'm going to order it and see if I can get a rush order because this is not like any other varnish. This is so nice to touch. It says it'll protect against household cleaners and all that kind of stuff so that she could dust it and that kind of thing. And it's got a nice smooth, can you see it, velvety finish? And it does. I absolutely, absolutely love this. And yeah, 
I would recommend this. this is so far my favorite varnish that I've seen on a piece that you can touch like that you can it's just gorgeous it's gorgeous this is absolutely something I would totally buy a hundred times over so just to let you guys know that this is a good product this turned out really in, in great texture so I'm have to buy a couple more balls to do the other two because this is a great it's just perfect can't get a better enough natural looking it looks so good. I can see if I can get some reflection here. And it's just, it's kind of like a doll and just feels like the material again, still kind of, I don't know how to explain it. It's great. It's perfect. I did two coats, so yeah. I recommended two coats, waiting an hour, an hour to two hours after. And I did exactly what it recommended and it is hard. But it feels like it's soft and it's really great. So I recommend that. Anyways, so now I just got to do the trim. And then I think that's about it. Well, besides just painting the back all in. Now I'm just going to flip this over. The back, I only got the handle done, of course, painted because uh, I, would, I had to put the boss on. And I didn't want to deal with... Uh, I didn't really want white underneath, just in my mind. Didn't want that, even though it may have not been seen or whatever. Now I'm just going to paint the whole back, I think, black. And call that done. And I have to add a hanger for it as well. Um, I'm just going to add a little hanger right here. And that's going to be it. Or I may hang, add two little hangers, but it's harder to hang something with two little hangers. I'm not sure. But anyways, that is it. And I hope you guys like it. I hope the video makes sense. I'll try to record more of the other ones if I can. Or I might just put up this video and show pictures because you now you got the basics. The only thing I didn't do a few things in person. It's just hard. I should have brought my camera outside. My webcam. But I'm happy with the process and how it all went. And if anyone has any questions, please comment. And like I could do a little... Uh, examples on video or something or maybe I'll catch something with another shield that I'll save in my computer or something like that you know <clears throat> to have to uh, show you guys I am very pleased in how this came out it came out like a perfect canvas so give it a try guys I hope someone does because this is really beautiful thank you guys don't forget to oh, I'm wiggling my camera it's hitting don't forget to crap like a duck talk to you guys later and yeah there is my shield and like I said before it was really super fun. Super. I'm so glad that I was asked to do this. So now I'm just going to go up. I'm definitely making more and I'm definitely making my own. I am fell in love with this and I definitely want one on my wall. I definitely want a few. So there we go. Bye guys.